Okay, so this was the uh, last unit that we did. So it should be the freshest in your mind. So because of uh, the time, I'm going to go kind of quickly here. Now, to simplify, you need to factor. You can't really factor anything out of the top because there's only one thing, but we can on the bottom. So I can take out a 2, leave me with a minus 3. And then you can reduce the 8 over 2 to be 4, a squared over a minus 3. And then you want to always say that a cannot equal 3. Okay, number 2. We got to factor this one. What do you see is going on in the top? Difference of squares, yes. 6y minus 1, 6y plus 1. On the bottom, I can take out a 2y, leaving me with 6y minus 1. Okay, these cross out. I get 6y plus 1 over 2y. Y cannot equal 0. And what's the other one? 1 over 6, right? 1, 6 is bad there. Okay, next one. Out of the top here, I can take out uh, an M. Leave me with M plus 2. The bottom is... This is difference of squares, m minus 2, m plus 2. Over here, I can take out a 12 with m minus 2 coming out. And the bottom is just a 16m. OK, so this m would cancel with this m. This m plus 2 would cancel with this m plus 2. This m minus 2 would cancel with this m minus 2. And then I'm left with 12 over 16 which is 3 over 4. m cannot equal, here 2 is bad, here negative 2 is bad, here 0 is bad, so plus or minus 2 and 0. Okay, now, first of all, we got two things going on, uh, simplifying and then flipping it. Okay, so, uh, Let's just flip it first. We got 6x squared over 15x cubed times 20x squared over 4x, x minus 1. Now, depending how you want to do this, it's very, very so like different, but I see this 6 over 15 that we can divide each by 3, so I would get 2 thirds. I got a 20 over 4. So I have, I'm going to divide each by 4. That leaves me with a 5 and a 1. That look good so far. Okay. And just a minute. I'm dividing these by 3. So that should be a 5 there, sorry. I'm dividing them by 3s. 6 over 15, I divided by 3s. These two 5s will now cancel. Okay, so as far as numbers go, I have just two left. Now, do you see how I have, I'm just going to get them together. I got x squared times x squared is x to the 4. And there's an x to the 3, x to the 1 on the bottom is an x to the 4. And then the x minus 1. Now, some people would have liked to have canceled them in the question, and that's fine, right? I'm just, this might be easier just to show you. So you get 2 over x minus 1. But remember here, 0 is bad, and here 1 is bad. So x cannot equal 0 or 1. Okay, so we started with multiplication division because they're the easier ones when it comes to fractions, right? Now, when it comes to adding and subtracting fractions, you've got to find a common denominator. Now look at number 5. Got a common denominator already. So easy. No one would ever get this wrong. Yet lots of people get this one wrong because of this. Okay? Remember, whenever you have a minus sign, it's like that being in brackets. So this has to go to both of these. 
So that's like 5x plus 1 minus 3x plus 1 all over x minus 1. So then you have 5x minus 3x is 2x. You have 1 plus 1 is 2 all over x minus 1. Now you can factor out a 2 in the top, leave me with x plus 1 over x minus 1. And x cannot equal 1. Yep. Five x minus three x is two x, and one plus one is two. Yeah, because my negative multiplied to that three, that's a minus sign out front. Same with example six. There's a minus sign out front, so these make them a little bit tougher. Now, this does not have a common denominator, but common denominator would be x plus one times three x. So this is going to be x plus 1 times 3x. x plus 1 times 3x. Okay, now what do I have to do? I have to multiply by 3x there, so I'm going to multiply by 3x there. Here I have to multiply by x plus 1. Oops, there's a minus sign there. So that's going to be 2x plus 1. Now, here we have we multiply these two together. That'll give me 9x. Now this is a minus 2 out front here. It's going to multiply to both of these. So that is minus 2x minus 2 all over x plus 1 <coughs> times 3x. Now 9x minus 2x equals 7x. Then the minus 2 over x plus 1 times 3x x cannot equal 0 or negative 1. Ah, we're doing good. One question left. These are your last notes of grade 12. Okay, 4 over x plus 6x over x plus 1 equals 6. Now, as soon as you see this, that's like a free ticket to get rid of denominators. Okay, you can't do that any other time except when there's an equal sign. So you have a common denominator of x times x plus 1. So we want to multiply this by x times x plus 1. This x times x plus 1. And this x times x plus 1. Okay, now on, on the first one, this cancels. On the second one, this cancels. And on the third one, nothing cancels. So I have my 4 here already, okay? So this is 4 times x plus 1, plus 6x times that x that's left over equals 6 times x times x plus 1. Okay, now what we want to do is we just want to try and simplify some stuff. So this is 4x plus 4, plus 6x squared equals, now this is 6x, right? So we just multiply that. So that's 6x squared plus 6x. You know, this one works out rather nice. You, want you can minus 6x squared. So that cancels. They're gone. So now I have 4x plus 4 equals 6x. Why don't I get all my x's on the right side of this? So I'm going to minus 4x. So 4 equals negative 2x divided by negative 2. Negative 2 equals x. Now, be careful. What are my non-permissibles? I was going to say, you should uh, check it. Okay, and just double check that your uh, x's cannot equal 0 or negative 1. Be careful, because if this was that, there would be no solution.
Okay, and let's just 4 over 2 plus, I'm just putting my 2 in, see if it works. 6 times 2 over 2 plus 1. This is supposed to equal 6. Well, this is 4 over 2 is 2, plus 12 over 3 is 4. 6 does equal 6. Okay, so we're working on page 33 to 35. There are 10 minutes, nice.